In this video, we are doing a 100 mile ish review of these the Reebok Energy Float Ride 4. here in Hertfordshire. Now, I've said it about a billion times, I don't track my mileage that accurately on my shoes because I simply don't have the mental capacity to do it. But what I do do is keep a rough guide. Uh, and particularly when we get a shoe in, um, I like to know where we're at with them. Um, but then after that, because of my mileage, I know roughly what I'm doing in stuff. I can kind of work it out if I really needed to. But we've done um, a reasonable bit of mileage in the shoe. Uh, we've had this for a while now, so it's got to be coming up to sort of near 100 miles. Um, I've got absolutely no idea exactly what it's done. Um, but basically, the bottom line is I wanted to share some feedback um, on the shoe since we've had it that little bit extra and let you know how I've been finding it. Okay, so uh, this shoe's got a nine mil drop. We've got the um, Energy uh, midsole. We've got a carbon infused outsole. I think it's called carbon, no, carbon rubber outsole. Carbon infused plates, carbon rubber, anyway. It hasn't got a plate in it, by the way. Uh, we've got a new mesh upper on it. We've got some cool overlays, uh, stitching to sort of help uh, stability of the shoe and the structure of the shoe. Gusseted tongue. What else? Um, it's probably about it. The biggest thing though on this shoe, the price. This shoe is 45 pounds here in the UK. Yep, didn't make that up, it's 45 pounds. That is incredible. Um, 260 grams, people. Nine point something ounces. It doesn't fit true to size. Got to watch your sizing. I'm about a 9.25. This is a UK nine and a half, and I'm about a 9.25. It's been okay since I've got it because the temperatures are warmer, so my feet are swelling up more than they normally would. So actually, I've got a bit of room in here, so I don't mind that so much. But you've got to watch your sizing on the Reeboks. This shoe's been an absolute joy. Uh, I've been very much using it um, sort of double run days, coaching sessions, that kind of stuff. Small, medium distances, nothing mental in it. Um, if I'm doing, I don't know, laps of a park or progressive run, something like that, this is where we're going. It can literally do everything. I said it in another video, I think this is an awesome treadmill shoe. So if you're a treadmill runner, I think this is a fantastic shoe for you to check out. It could be the best treadmill shoe out there. And why do I say that? First, it's cheap. But the grip on the outsole combined with the breathability of the upper and the relative lightness of it, um, the energy midsole as well gives you enough feedback on a treadmill that I think you know, you've got a decent proposition here if you're just banging in miles on the treadmill. So definitely check that out. But this shoe has, uh, has not surprised me in terms of what it's been able to do and what it's been able to achieve because I kind of knew it anyway. But it's just a great, great shoe. And at the price point, it's hard to beat. So am I happy with my purchase? 100%. And can I recommend it to you? 110% people. If you're after a sort of low mileage or med to medium mileage daily trainer and you're on a budget, check out this bad boy. 